I, I, I don't know how most people do it, but I never had a plan for my career. It, it just, I always felt like I, I wanted to do, whatever I was doing, I wanted to do it well, and the career would, would build itself. Uh, because what, when, when you find something you like, you typically do it well, or at least you have a real passion for it. And if you have a passion for it, you'll do it well, and it'll be recognized as such. And, and I've often told the young folks in the office that, that it's, it's critical, you know, we're, we're all salesmen in what we do. We're all selling products, we're selling ideas, we're selling prospects, we're selling something. And it behooves them to come up with the, the most striking images that you, can, that you can get to make your point. And uh, when, when, when we look at uh, technical papers, typically the first thing we do is we look at the figures. And then maybe if, if the figures are interesting, we might, we might read the text. But the figures have to speak for themselves. And to get good figures is, is a talent. It's a skill that can be learned, but it's definitely a skill. Well, you don't want to make them too complicated, but you want to make them compelling. And that's where artistic talent really pays off. One of the, the most valuable courses I have taken in my entire career is not sedimentology or stratigraphy, this and this, not you know, book cliffs, field trips, and blah, blah, blah. No, the, the most influential course that I have taken was uh, effective communication skills. Years, in my early years with, with Exxon, they put us all into this course. It was a two-day course on effective communication. And the basics that they taught in that class, I still refer to. Uh, it, it, and it's, it's a very simple process. It applies to a, 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 any, any presentation you give. It applies to any paper you write. It applies to every paragraph you write. And, and specifically, now, after, the, after you've established who your audience is, I mean, that's always you need to do, but you always, the, you always start off by giving the news. You know, what is, you know, think about your audience, what's the news? What are you, what are you, what are you what would, what's the key takeaway for the audience? And then, what's the news, why is it important? So, this is my news, this is why it's important, this is how I know it, and this is what I'm going to do about it. If those four steps, if you follow that in a paragraph, in a PowerPoint presentation, in a written communication, that's, that's the, that has made such a difference in my ability to communicate ideas.